Football fans may remember Russell Okung. He played left tackle for the Broncos back in 2016. He played 11 NFL seasons. He won a Super Bowl. He went to the Pro Bowl twice. You can see him on the left there, six foot five, more than 300 pounds. He was a force on the football field. This week, though, he's sharing that dramatic transformation you're seeing in these photos. He did it on social media. He says he lost more than 100 pounds by fasting for 40 days with nothing but water. So let's talk about that with our medical uh, expert, uh, Dr. Paul Coley. So we're talking about water fasting. It's not new, but it sounds extreme. It's not new. It's been around in Eastern medicine, Ayurvedic medicine from India for, mm. for centuries. And it's essentially having nothing but water, nothing to eat or drink but water. Uh, and the idea is multifold. One, you, you do have that rapid weight loss because when you have no carbohydrates, no fats, no proteins, your body starts to break down calories pretty quickly. You also supposedly are ridding your body of toxins. You're allowing your gut to rest. You're allowing the inflammation to resolve and things to regenerate. And then it's supposed to have spiritual meaning as well. I was going to say this has That's to have a spiritual yeah. component because there's there's no way you can just shut off your life for 40 days, you know, regardless of the health benefits. You know, I would say Western medicine says 24 hours to three days is really the maximum you should be doing. Now, in Eastern medicine in India, yogis and priests and such go out into the woods and do it for 30 days or six weeks, but it's really not recommended for those prolonged periods of time. It's meditative almost, as you said, right? It's supposed to be meditative, almost like taking your body into a limbo state, reducing your your kind of metabolism, what you need, and, and really helping your body to reset but whether or not man is designed to but just can have we, water yeah i mean and what are the risks of doing something like this so the studies that have looked at people who have done this for eight days not 40 mind you show significantly increased risks of headaches fatigue dizziness joint pains or aches feeling depressed and feeling under the weather but then even things in their blood you know increased levels of acid increased levels of of uric acid which can cause gout in uh, lower levels of sodium you're just messing up your electrolytes really not recommended by Western medicine. So I have a, a lot of questions, uh, obviously losing 100 pounds. I mean, I, I always worry about when people go on diets that they know when they're done. <laughs> like, are you trying to get to a certain weight? Mm -hmm. And are you ever satisfied? If you, you, if you felt dissatisfied with the way you looked or felt, d how do you know when you're done? You know, we have calculators to determine what is a healthy body weight. But for me, what was more concerning about the story, Tom, was the rapidity of the weight loss. Yeah. Because a healthy way to lose weight is one to two pounds a week over months. And, and this man lost 100 pounds in 40 days. Now, I'm also questioning what is going to be the sustainability of something right, like that. Right, the minute he eats food. Well, many, many of the football players, as I say, when they retire, either get very heavy or, or go back to what is probably what meant to be their actual body weight, their actual body frame. Many of them have artificially added 60, 70, 80 pounds in order to be professional football players. That's probably good weight to lose. That's the right way to lose the weight, but to go back to a very low weight very quickly. So even if he wanted to go back to his basal weight, whatever that might be for someone who's over six feet tall, he should have done it slowly over time because the sustainability, the risk to his body, and also you break down muscle mass when you do this. And the mental and emotional part piece of this is, is very difficult for me to get my head around. The idea that you kind of have to turn off your life and that may include relationships. That yeah. may include how could your... you do anything with yeah. anyone else? Is that dangerous too? It is very dangerous. And also how your self-perception changes over time, your self-esteem, how people view you, even your cosmetic appearance. Because if you start to lose, you know, volume on your face and your hips and your buttocks, you can get sagging. People feel like they've prematurely aged. Your wrinkles can start to come out. So it can really change your mental and physical health in a number of ways. Well, we certainly hope Russell Okung is healthy now that yes. he's gone through this, yeah. but it's it's something that uh, sounded extreme. We wanted to talk about it with you a little bit. We appreciate it. And hopefully he can find a good, healthy place. I mean, he does look good. He looks good. It's just, uh, you know what? We won't do it, so you've convinced us. Oh, good. Good old-fashioned dieting. That's the way to do Thanks it. Thanks for the tips. Nobody's in that. <laughs> I don't have it in me. Have a great okay. weekend. Thanks, Dr. Paul Coley.